Hello and welcome to my showroom. Uh, I've had a number of uh, people ask me if I would do um, rock building videos, so I've decided I'm going to do a complete set. Um, and so this is the first uh, first part. I'm trying to keep it as brief as possible. Um, and the first thing you're going to need uh, is a rod building jig. Um, I started with uh, this one here, which I bought from the States. Simple homemade jig. Uh, what I quite liked about this was the fact that you can move that up and down on this spindle. So you could do one or two reps at the same time. Uh, and I'll come back to that in a minute with the, with the other ones. Uh, the thing I didn't like about it, there was actually a central spindle that went through there, which housed two bobbins. Uh, two thread bombings, but it, 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 it seemed to um, not to work terribly well. So what I did was I uh, I ran uh, the the thread on the on this through a uh, this is a sewing machine uh, gadget uh, thread tightener, um, so I can get the, the correct tension. Um, <clears throat> moving on to this, which is the one that I recommend you start with. This is manufactured very simply from a six bottle wine box and all I've done is I've kicked out one of the sides cut two V's either side and I've I've attached uh, some guard flexible gardening wire which keeps the blank under tension which is a good thing so that if you wanted to stop your thread halfway through for whatever reason it won't spin back round again um, I've put a very small uh, uh, um, little ring, screw and ring, uh, picture hook uh, at the bottom and I'm running the line through a fly time bobbin and I've drilled a hole at the back to put my bobbin in here. Now if you haven't got a fly time bobbin there's a very simple way going back to this jig that you can you can do it. What you do is you run the thread through a book Weight it down, I've done this with a couple of heavy reels uh, so that it's under tension and then that just runs through this picture hook here and up onto your blank. Um, I've, it, I've secured it in place so it doesn't spin round because the last thing you want it to do is to come off the, the side of the spool which of course would then twist the thread. Um, <clears throat> this is a larger wine box, this is a 12, 12 bottle wine box. Uh, and um, if you wanted to, you could simply put your picture hook into a ring like this and then have a bar which would run up all the way along the length. And you could probably get then get three wraps uh, uh, in, in place at the same time. Um, very simple. Uh, you can get these from Majestic uh, Wine Warehouses in the UK. Uh, they ask you to make a donation to charity of a fiver. Um, alternatively, if you've only got one project, the simplest thing to do is just do roughly the same sort of thing using a strong cardboard box. Um, but that gives you a really good idea as to how you can get started. What I like about this is that everything's self-contained inside it. So if I want to pick it up and move to another room, uh, it'll all stay inside. When I pick that blessed thing up, <laughs> everything rolls off it. So uh, that's not terribly good. So that's a simple way to get started um, and um, yeah, uh, enjoy your rod building. It's highly addictive, I'm afraid, so you probably would want to invest a fiver in one of, one of these because the chances of you building one rod is virtually nil, um, as I discovered 20 years ago when I started. Um, I used to have a proper job uh, and now I build rods for, for a living. Uh, so good luck.